For me, anarchist studies is the study of the theory and practice of anarchism, um, or broadly construed anti-authoritarianism in all of its varieties. So this includes not only the sort of classically studied canon of 19th century anarchists, uh, Proudhon, Bakunin, Kropotkin, and, and, and many others, um, but also the sort of post-anarchist tradition, which is to say um, anarchist theorists and practitioners which may not identify themselves strictly as anarchists or engage the, directly the 19th century anarchist tradition, um, but who uh, espouse or practice um, anti-authoritarianism in some form or fashion. This includes folks like Gilles Deleuze, Félix Guattari, Jacques Ranciere, uh, Michel Foucault, and so on, sort of um, uh, writers um, who could be identified as within the anarchist tradition, even if they themselves did not identify as anarchists. Um, but this also includes, more importantly, and I think less folks write about this, but um, in addition to a kind of post-anarchist tradition, I think there's a uh, an existing pre-anarchist tradition um, in that is in very many ways anarchist, um, maybe not self-identified as such, um, and yet still very interesting and I think insightful and inspiring for 19th century and after uh, anarchism, uh, which is to say I think it's important in anarchist studies to study folks uh, at, at practices like uh, historical nomadism, how nomadic societies have organized themselves in anti-state or anti-authoritarian fashions based on mutual aid and solidarity and so on. Other indigenous uh, groups that have been around for a very long time. This includes also, I think, uh, there's, there's a, a rich study of the sort of servile wars in Greece and Rome and a rich history of maroons and maroon societies, um, societies created entirely by escaped slaves, I think hold a lot of interest uh, for anarchist, anarchist studies. Um, uh, additionally, I think, uh, you know, sort of moving forward uh, in the fifth century, you have these kind of escaped rogue vagabonds uh, or serfs from, um, from sort of land ties to the Romans, um, but they're not exactly barbarians, somewhere in between sort of fighting between both the Romans and the barbarians, um, created an entire society called Bacad. Um, which was band of fighters, um, this unified group of sort of displaced people to um, sort of create an alternative uh, non-Roman, non-barbarian society. Um, other sorts of uh, are, you know, of course, 19th century maroon societies are really interesting and I think have anarchistic uh, sorts of tendencies as well as different pirate societies. Um, in any case, I think that there is a rich pre-anarchist tradition that I would want to include uh, very much in anarchist studies. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you.